next piece I'd like to play is by another violin virtuoso, um, probably similar in fame to Isai in his own time, Heinrich Ernst. He wrote the um, variations on the last rose of summer that I played in the first half. I'm out of breath after that piece. <laughs> um, it's the altitude, I'm sure. Um, so anyway, he wrote the, the last rose of summer and the other most famous piece that he wrote, he wrote those a pair of things that are pretty legendary is the Earl King and um, it's based on a song by Schubert which was written from a poem by Goethe and oddly enough Goethe did not like Schubert's version of it I think he sent it back to him <laughs> when Schubert sent it in the mail and I think it grew on Goethe at least I hope so because he'll be very unhappy with the fact that it was very popular for generations to come and uh, Ernst actually managed to put the entire song into um, a solo violin part. And what Josh has done is he's written his own version of the Earl King, and I think he captures it really well, especially the, um, the voices. There are four voices in the, in the poem, and he's able to convey that just as Schubert was, um, but in a very different way. So that's why we wanted to do these two back to back, and Josh will come out after I play the Earl King to play the Oak King, which is the story of the Earl King in English in um, Josh's own musical language. So. Um, I should just say that it's, it's really wonderful to be here, and I'm really glad to see all of you. I appreciate your coming. And um, it took us, it was quite a hassle to um, get ourselves together for tonight, because it took me two days to get from North Carolina to here, what with flight delays and everything. And um, I finally got here, I was like, oh, thank goodness. And then I had this program to practice. I was like, no, thank goodness. <laughs> and then Josh, um, he got here fine, but his guitar still hasn't gotten here. So he's borrowing someone else's guitar. So I think he gets extra credit for that. Because um, British Airways doesn't recognize a guitar as a legitimate carry-on instrument. So, whatever. <laughs> We're going back British Airways tomorrow. We'll probably lose it again. So, anyway, it's great to be here. And um, it's nice to be playing in a church that isn't as scary as the first church that we played in. <laughs> There's a huge crucifix, very, very graphic, behind us. And as Josh started his, um, his set, one of his songs has the word hell in it. And it was almost like the crucifix was judging him, you know. And, and the people in the last row, there's apparently a family of little kids and their parents. When he said the word hell, they went, and looked at their parents and tugged on their sleeve. He said hell. So <laughs> the parents were like, no, no, it's okay. It's a song. It's fine. <laughs> so um, anyway, the story that I'm about to play is, is very tragic. And um, it's probably the saddest thing one could go through, and um, I think Josh's song will explain it quite well. The four voices are the narrator, um, who starts and finishes. So the melody you hear at the beginning and the melody you hear at the end is the narrator beginning and ending the story. There's a little boy, and there, he has very high notes. So if you hear a melody, that's the boy. There's a father who has a very low voice, and um, whenever you hear a low sort of deep melody, that's what that is. Um, and the final character is the Earl King himself, who is an evil spirit who likes to lure children away. So um, he tries different tones of voice to cajole the child to go with him. And um, anytime the piece seems to change drastically, that's the Earl King coming in and kind of throwing a wrench in everyone's nice day. So <laughs> without further ado, here's the Earl King.